Hi Martin Priestley here from Urban Wildlife Tips and today I've got a little special treat for you. A really stunning moth. Now you might be thinking, hang on a minute, uh, moths come out in uh, springtime, summertime and, and into into autumn uh, and it's now October. Uh, but this moth actually comes out in September and October. But it's a real stunner uh, and one that uh, everybody likes to see. It's a fairly common uh, moth but let me explain a little bit more later on. Uh, but right, so instead of me waffling on, uh, let me show you the moth. I've just hidden it round here. So, right, so fingers crossed it is still here. And there it is. Let's go in. We'll put it in the shade and then you can't see it. There you can see it, should I say. And there it is. It's, uh, pardon my French, but it's called the Mervel uh, de Jour Moth. As I say, it's reasonably common. Um, it's reasonably common. It can be found uh, in most situations. Um, it's, um, it feeds on um, in the ivy. That's a bit darker there, that's better. It feeds on uh, ivy flowers, and the larvae feed on, uh, on oaks. Um, on the two species of oaks. Um, it will come into your garden and if you are interested in moth trapping um, now's the time to uh, to try and find it, September, October as I, as I say. Uh, relatively common but an absolutely stunning moth. I mean that, uh, let's just see if we can, I mean this is fresh and what I mean by fresh it's just uh, nicely appeared um, probably in the last day or so there's not hardly any wear on it whatsoever. So, um, so again, that is the Mervel de Jour moth, um, and something that uh, is a bit prized by the uh, the people who uh, uh, like to uh, identify moths like myself, uh, because the um, this is my fourth record, so it's not that common here in, in uh, Lowmoor in Bradford, but uh, as you can appreciate, an absolutely stunning moth. Right, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.